morning, Sully. Good morning, Ricky. Hey, it's the Selsta. See you on the scare floor, buddy. Hey, Marge. Hey, how is jury duty? Morning, Sully. How you doing, big guy? Hey. I think he's the most energetic, romantic, energized, neurotic character ever. Honest, decent guy. A little dim sometimes. Um, not the sharpest knife in the drawer. Um, but it's a sweet guy who knows who he is. <laughs> It scares little kids and little monsters. I wasn't scared. I have allergies. <coughs> uh-huh, sure. Where did you guys come up with the idea for a, an animation project about monsters? I started thinking about things that were true for me as a kid. And besides the fact that toys come to life when you're not looking, right. I knew that there were monsters waiting in my closet, ready to scare Absolutely. me every me night. Absolutely. Me too. You? So, they're still there. Okay, good. <laughs> so we started asking questions about that. Why do monsters scare kids? What do they get out of it? I mean, what do the monsters enjoy about that? And we started to answer that question, and that's where the film came from. Our city is counting on you to collect those children's screams. Without scream, we have no power. And you also had the theme of what monsters are afraid of, which I thought was kind of interesting. Yeah. What we love to do at Pixar is to take uh, something that, on one level, the audience, like you really connect to, really understand. Like, yeah, monsters you know, come out of closets and, and, and scare us. But then show it to you in a way that you've never thought of before. And that is like reversing it and showing you the mm -hmm. world beyond that. And mm -hmm. I think that's what's really fun to do. But you don't normally think of monsters as very human and funny and nice people. And in no. this film, they are. Did you like that contrast between the, what we think of as a scary monster, but yet they're portrayed as very human? You know, it just gave me a thought it might redefine the word monsters in the dictionary. You know, as it was, you know, say, hairy, scary uh, creatures, except in Pixar films. The film focuses on the misadventures of you and Sully, who's of course voiced by John Goodman. How would you describe this duo of the year 2000, I guess? They're Laurel and Hardy. They're, uh, you know, they're, they're, um, they're just these two sweet guys who uh, don't realize what an emptiness they have in their life. And that this, you know, this human being, uh, this little cute three-year-old, wanders into their world and, and rocks it and gives them a heart that they Monsters aren't supposed to have. See the stick? Go get the stick. Go fetch. Mike, this isn't Boo's door. Boo? What's Boo? That's what I decided to call her. Is there a problem? Sully, you're not supposed to name it. Once you name it, you start getting attached to it. Well, Where did that idea come from to make them very human, to show like their world? You stop thinking about them as being toys and you start thinking about them as characters. What would Sullivan like do. Yeah, what would he do in this situation? We all re would respond to things differently, you know, different, different events, different situations, and the characters that we create are the same thing, and so you start thinking about them as just normal, everyday people. Just the other day, someone asked me who I thought the most beautiful monster was in all of Monstropolis. You know what I said? What did you say? I said, Sully? Sully? No, 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 that's not what I was going to say. I mean, Mike, you're not making choice. sense. I love this guy. He, he's a Pippin apple with Sammy Davis Jr.'s hands. I was conscious of, he was like a tree frog. He just would, and, and very expressive. And when I um, hooked into his energy, then it was great fun. Did you believe in monsters as a kid? <clears throat> I still do. You still do? They're still in your closet? Um, some of them are in, uh, in, uh, around the world. Three, five, four.